Welcome back at 542. You know, by now many of you have exhausted the playbook when it comes to cooking good meals at home. But if you need some inspiration, we might have some help for you. Cor Harlan live this morning with some help from a culinary expert. Cor. Well, even those things that you make that you know are good, Jenny, at home have now become uh, tried and uh, a little bit tired out uh, if your kids are any, uh, uh, any gauge for how you're cooking here. So you've been cooking at home a long time because there's no place to eat out. We've got some ideas for you this morning on adding a few recipes to your playbook, even if you're an advanced cook or just getting started for the first time. Fear not if you feel as though you can't cook your way out of the same small handful of meals you make at home. During normal times, you'd expand your meal-making portfolio by consulting a cookbook or taking a cooking class. Well, now the cooking class can come to you online. People with families who now are saying, oh, I feel like a short order cook. This is all I'm doing is uh, cooking and cleaning. And we're sick of the same old thing that we keep going back to. How can we switch it up but not spend a ton of time in the kitchen? Like many ventures, Lauren Chandler of Lauren Chandler Cooks has pivoted her business temporarily away from in-person visits to a person's kitchen to more of an online cooking coach type presence. Advising people she does, new to cooking, and more accomplished home cooks as well. New things they can cook, how to use different ingredient combinations, and how to turn leftovers into a new meal the next day. It's a lot of online advice to help people make the food they have go further. They're usually not cooking at the time when I'm in the kitchen with them. Um, that's an option, but I find that it's more efficient use of the time to just have a conversation. She says she is more oriented towards vegetables and plant-based ingredients, but has plenty of inspiration for meat eaters as well. And her online help is suddenly in big demand as more and more home cooks try to turn up the dial on home cooked meal offerings. All right, so, so there's a lot to offer here, just in terms, Jenny, of new recipes that people may not have thought of, but also Say you have a, I, I talked with her yesterday and we talked about the tri-tip that I had, okay? So not everybody ate all the tri-tips, so there's half a tri-tip sitting in the refrigerator. What can you do with that tomorrow and the next day? She suggested making a salad with a little bit of the tri-tip sprinkled on top. Uh, I suggested maybe putting it into a breakfast hash, cutting it up little pieces of meat, putting in a hash for breakfast, having breakfast for dinner a couple days ago. That's the type of stuff that people are into now. It makes what you have go a lot further, and most importantly, it prevents uh, more frequent trips to the grocery stores. A lot of people tried to stay home here. So some good advice there and some good wisdom from somebody who has been in the cooking business for a long time. Yeah, it sounds like you had a good idea too because there's nothing worse than having the leftovers just sit in your refrigerator like in Tupperware and you know a week later you just throw them out. So yeah, some good yes, stuff there, that, Cor. That is, a, that is a familiar refrain. I do a lot of that. We yes, do a lot of that. We unfortunately refrigerator do too. To the to the sink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. To the Good garbage. stuff. Thank you, Cor. Mm -hmm. <laughs>